including visible light, radio waves, and X-rays. These are just a few examples of the many fascinating phenomena that occur in constellations and other galaxies. As our understanding of the universe continues to expand, we are sure to discover even more amazing and mysterious phenomena that will captivate our imaginations. There are many more phenomena that occur in constellations and other galaxies. Here are a few additional examples. Magnetars Magnetars are a type of neutron star with an extremely strong magnetic field. They can release huge amounts of energy, including bursts of X-rays and gamma rays. Planetary nebulae Planetary nebulae are clouds of gas and dust that are expelled by dying stars. They can have intricate and colorful shapes, and they are often used as examples of the beauty of the universe. Active galactic nuclei Active galactic nuclei Agn, are regions at the center of galaxies that are very bright and energetic. They are powered by supermassive black holes that are actively accreting matter, and they can emit high-energy radiation in many different forms. Gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in spacetime that are produced by the movement of massive objects, such as black holes or neutron stars. They were first detected in 2015 and have opened up a new way of observing the universe. Cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles that come from outside the solar system. They can be produced by many different sources, including supernovas, black holes, and other energetic phenomena. Supernovas are some of the most powerful and spectacular events in the universe. They occur when a star reaches the end of its life and can no longer produce energy through nuclear fusion. This happens when a star has exhausted its supply of fuel and can no longer counteract the force of gravity pulling it inward. There are two main types of supernovas, type I and type II. Type I supernovas occur in binary star systems where one star is a white dwarf and the other star is either a red giant or another white dwarf. In this case, the white dwarf siphons material from the companion star, causing it to become unstable and explode. Type II supernovas, on the other hand, occur when a massive star runs out of fuel and its core collapses, creating an explosion. During a supernova, the star releases an enormous amount of energy in a matter of seconds or minutes. This energy is visible as an incredibly bright burst of light that can outshine an entire galaxy. The explosion also releases a large amount of heavy elements, such as gold and silver, into the surrounding space. This is how many of the heavy elements that we find on Earth were created. After the explosion, the remains of the star can take one of two forms. If the star was less than about eight times the mass of the Sun, it will typically leave behind a small, dense object called a neutron star. Neutron stars are incredibly dense, with a mass of around 1.4 times that of the Sun but a radius of only about 10 kilometers.